getting in front of your prospects once you're connected to them. Welcome to the next episode of LinkedIn to Lead Generation with Hannah Tai, our host, and uh, my name is Dr. Mark Kosman. Hannah, it's great to be back with you. I know we're doing a four-part series this time on using you know, LinkedIn to get leads and to get onto your clients' radar. So what are we talking about in this episode? Sure. So we've done a lot of the groundwork where, you know, we've built up our profile and then, you know, a lot of people put their profile up and then they're like, okay, I'm going to start connecting to people like crazy, but now what, right? So you're connecting to people, right. which is great. You want to continue to do that. Um, but you want to do some other things that, you know, allow you to stay top of mind and really start to nurture that relationship. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Excellent. So let's uh, let's give them some specifics to hang their hat on. What, what are we going to really try to nail down in this episode? Sure. So we're going to talk a little bit about some things we can do, can, like uh, status updates, um, the okay. new published posts. Um, that you can use on LinkedIn and also um, talking to people, which in, um, <laughs> Go figure. Groups, yeah, in, in, with groups and, and things like that. So that's what we're going to talk about. All right, excellent. Well, let's dig in there. So, yes, I mean, LinkedIn is such a powerful tool. What do we need to know about status up, updates? What is the best way for me to use this if, again, if my overall goal is to get to that top of mind kind of status with the clients that I'm trying to engage with? What do I do with status updates? Okay, so when you do a status update, um, one of the things that's really fantastic is that it goes out to everybody in your network. So if you've been connecting to people like crazy, this is a wonderful opportunity to stay top of mind. And so what you want to do when you do that is you want to put something in that's helpful and informative. Okay, so those are the, t the key things that you want to do. You want to think about your network and what is it that you can pass along to them that showcases that you are an expert in what you do and that you can help them in you know their career goals or you know business goals okay excellent so yeah makes sense so so I shouldn't be publishing things that have absolutely no relevance to my audience right <laughs> exactly exactly so so if you're you know very much like the, the work that you do when you talk about client specific problems you want to make sure mm -hmm. that you're really nailing that and like what are the things that my clients go through every day that impede their success and if you can help them by you know giving them tools to work through that you know you become a very very quickly a trusted advisor to them and they're going to feel much more confident in you know sharing your information with their network okay right. and then which is what you really want yeah Excellent. right exactly yep. and then also yep. it allows it allows them to feel really comfortable if you know you need an introduction to somebody or mm -hmm. um, you know maybe they might need your services all of a sudden where they weren't thinking about you before Excellent. Well, spe speaking of making things shareable, I mean, let's talk a little bit about this this new feature, a relatively new feature. I mean, so we can now publish posts directly on LinkedIn, and I know that's got to be confusing uh, for some people in terms of all right. So, what's the difference between a post and an update? So let's let's talk about what this new feature is and how you've been using it and how other people can be using it to uh, get get in front of their their ideal clients. Sure. So the thing that's so beautiful about this is that um, you can actually create longer pieces of content, you know, that are actual published posts that you can publish right on LinkedIn. Now these can actually be reworked pieces from things that you've done before, perhaps, um, that you, you know you put in there, and it goes straight out to your network on LinkedIn. And one of the things okay. that's very cool is it actually allows you to your network to see a notification right now. It's slightly annoying actually. But um, then they'll get a <laughs> notification that someone in their network has created a post. Okay. So okay. It, it really keeps you top of mind because it showcases mm -hmm. that you know you're, cre you're continually creating content to enrich the community. And if it's really good and people start sharing it, and they start to, you know, comment and things like that. It actually can get featured in Pulse, which is ah, uh, okay, so the, yeah, okay, yes, which is you know what LinkedIn typically will recommend for you to read and you know to stay up to date on things. So um, that's huge. So you can get so much exposure um, simply right, okay. by and conversation simply by you know 
putting these published posts together. And plus, again, you're really showcasing your authority and your, your credibility. Okay, so I heard some real differences then in, in this uh, between po just posting and updates. So I get much more visibility within my network because it's actually going to put out a different kind of notification than if I'm just throwing right. something into the stream. It's going to actually potentially get picked up and, and if, if they like it, if they like the content, if LinkedIn likes the content, they might push it out beyond my network yeah. in this LinkedIn Pulse kind of uh, thing. So oh, very cool. And, and I think I heard you say that I have more more space to you know create a longer kind of piece of content, right? Than yeah, so it post. can be like a nice, yeah. and then what you would want to do is obviously put some sort of a call to action in there as well, which kind of, right. you know, allows people to do something with that. To right, H hook them back in so that they're maybe coming back over to your website and off of uh, just LinkedIn. Exactly. Cool. Exactly. Excellent stuff. So let's talk about the, the last part there. So now group discussions and, and you say, yes, you might actually have to talk to real people. Uh, you know, ugh, yeah. Ugh, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, when you join these groups, one of the things that's really great about these groups, like really fabulous, <laughs> is that people really are there and they share and they learn from one another and it's like a big kumbaya moment, you know, like if you're using it effectively. <laughs> so, yeah. If you are in there and you are consistently answering questions and contributing and you seem like you have something in between the ears, um, you know, first of all, LinkedIn <laughs> rewards you when you're participating in things. You know, that's part of the way that they kind of reward you. And people are like, oh, this person really seems like they know what they're talking about. So they're going to start clicking on your profile and wanting to connect with you. And that's just going to build your network. But also, it's going to allow you to, again, showcase your credibility and get some work out of it. Right. Excellent. All right. This has really been good stuff, Hannah. I'm going to wrap us up at this point because we don't want to go too far. But this is part of a four-part series that we're doing on this theme here. So what we covered in this episode is you know, how to use status updates to really get top of mind, how to publish these new posts, which are really powerful tools, it sounds like, that I'm going to be paying a whole lot more attention to. And yes, I got to admit, I think this is always my confession in the show that I'm doing a terrible job using LinkedIn myself, that I'm not nearly engaged enough in all these groups that I bother to join, and I could be getting a lot more value out of uh, being a member of these groups. I'd be and getting me. a lot more reward. Yeah. And leads, exactly. So there is something in it for me for actually talking to real people and being social on social media. So if this has been helpful to you, uh, you know, stay tuned because we've got uh, three more episodes that we're going to bring you that are all related to this kind of theme of getting top of mind, getting on your ideal client's radar using LinkedIn with our LinkedIn expert here, Hannah Tai. And uh, so join us on the next episode of LinkedIn to Lead Generation. But make sure you go over to Hannah's website. It's right up here on screen. Get on her um, email list so that you get the notifications and you don't miss this stuff. It's really good stuff. I don't just say that because I'm here. I'm getting good stuff by being here. I'm learning an awful lot about LinkedIn. So thank you so much, Hannah. And I'll see you when we do our next episode. Take it easy. <laughs>